Hey everybody, today I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about some quote-unquote tactical uh, pens. Um, as you can see, I have a very minor infatuation with zirconium, so um, many of these are zirconium. In fact, they all are, aside from the Grimsmo saga here. Um, if the Grimsmo's would heed my wishes and make me a zirconium saga, I would be absolutely ecstatic, ecstatic, but until that happens, stuck with this. Um, one uh, acquisition that I've yet to acquire uh, would be the, uh, what's his name? Chiso, the Thai scribe bowl. Um, I am waiting for a zirconium model on those, according to Kelvin. Um, he's going to be doing those once he's all set up in the new shop there, so I'm waiting on that. I'm not going to um, get a titanium one. I'm going to wait on a full Zerk model. So uh, we'll talk about the differences between these pens, uh, availability, and um, my recommendation, um, and what I think about the build quality, etc., and the refills. Um, so. Uh, first up on the table would be the Grimsmo Saga. Uh, this is my own andization, so um, didn't come pink and green. I did that. Um, so don't judge it on those merits, but the uh, finish work on these is really, really nice. Um, they do like a really, really, come on camera, a really fine stone wash on the tubes. And it looks like basically everything else is kind of a machine finish. Um, there's two different variants on the slider here, as far as the pattern that's milled into them. I don't know the names offhand, but this is one, and then there's one where there's stripes at an angle going down the side of it. Um, this is number 46, so it's an older model. Um, so the top on mine is polished. There aren't very many like that. Um, most of them also have 12 little dots, kind of like a quote-unquote swish, swish, geez, uh, Swiss watch um, per John. That was his uh, influence on those. So um, these older ones don't have that, and there weren't very many that were polished, but this is definitely one of them. Uh, the mechanism is extremely satisfying. It's got a really nice clicky feel to it. It's very tactile. Um, if you have your fat finger on it, you can silence it. I don't know if that's a good thing or if it's a bad thing, but you can definitely do it quietly if you intentionally or otherwise if you were, you know, blocking the slider from clicking up or blocking the button from clicking down or vice versa. Um, this is relatively new to me, so I don't have too much time with it, but I have written a fair amount with it. I don't really see too much point in writing with them all because it all depends on the refill. Um, but there is the Grimsmo Saga. Next up would be an old tactile turn slider. Um, this one again is zirconium. I do have a Damascus bolt on there which is a steel Damascus. Um, this was a black finish. I carried it for years before sanding it down and anodizing it gold. Um, if memory serves, this is, I don't know, like 80 volts for this gold, which is pretty high for a gold finish in titanium. It seems to me, um, based on playing around with these pens multiple times, sanding them, anodizing them, um, that zirconium is about 20 volts lower. So I really wish I had a power supply that went above 125 volts so I could try to get green. <laughs> but um, anyway, the uh, finish was good on this. Um, again, I had it for a few years, so I had acquired a few scratches. The good thing about zirconium is it's really hard, so um, it was pretty hard to scratch. But... Uh, like, I mean, you can even see there. And I didn't take care not to sand this part. I just focused on other areas and it still, like, can barely tell that it's scratched in that vicinity. Um, 
the, there's no refill in here right now. The mechanism on these is pretty soft. Um, the old sliders and gliders. Um, Will and the tactile turn team no longer make these. Um, they've upgraded to the tie bolts, or rather the BAS bolt action short, um, or the bolt action, just the full size one, or the BAM bolt action mini. But a um, couple of improvements would be the um, this bolt here, when it goes all the way down, leaves this whole area open for dust and debris. Not the end of the world, you can unscrew the top on these and uh, clean it out pretty thoroughly, pretty easily. But um, the other thing is um, the actual bolt. My camera froze there for a second. The actual um, bolt is really soft. It kind of squishes. It has some play like down to here. It'll wiggle around a little bit and um, vice versa. It's just not a very strong click when it shoots back into place. So not really worth talking about too, too much because they've moved on to the bolt actions um, here, which has a very positive um, click mechanism. They also now offer titanium Damascus bolts. Um, despite Will telling me that these uh, carriers and the bolts are probably DLC coded, he said, uh, I think we've done a few in Zerk, but not very many. Um, mine have all been Zerk. Um, the old bolt that I had on here, I actually purchased the uh, uh, Timascus bolt after the initial purchase of the pen. The old bolt I did uh, check and it was zirconium. So um, every part on here, except for the clip is zirconium. Uh, clip is uh, just a DLC coated steel, um, maybe titanium, but probably steel. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Again, I sanded and anodized this. So this is the factory finish you'll be getting. Um, finish work on these bolt actions is a lot better than the old sliders and gliders were. So if you had one of these, um, these are definitely worth an upgrade, um, not only for the mechanism, but also just for the finish work. Um, again, refills vary, so not really worth talking about how it writes. But um, I really, really like the weight on these two. Um, again, the same pen. Uh, I like the weight on the slider too, but these are about the perfect weight for me um, in zirconium. They're nice and hefty feeling. Um, you can drop the hell out of these things in the uh, black and zirk, and they don't scratch up. They don't dent too, too easily, but um, zirconium is relatively soft. It's a... Uh, Probably more prone to denting than like titanium, but definitely less prone to scratching. Next up would be this Tough Rider Retro Click, Retro Click. Um, these were a Kickstarter, and then they recently just popped a handful on their website, which is where I picked this up. Uh, yeah, and I used the clip kind of green. I went a little too high on the voltage, so I kind of lost the color there. I'll fix that eventually, but. Um, mechanism here is really, really soft in a good way. Um, it's, there's just no grinding resistance, but, um, it's definitely got, it's, uh, got a pressure resistance, but it doesn't have a, um, grinding feel. One cool thing about these, um, is despite being the polished finish, he also offers, I think, just a machine finish. It might be blasted. Um, that seam disappears pretty darn well on a polished finish, so holding really high tolerances there. Um, it also feels like you're ringing like a gauge block together. There's no um, O-ring on this, like there is on the tactile turns, which at first concerned me, but um, it like you can hear that click. It like rings together there um, when it's fully tightened down. Um, Threading is really nice. Um, there's a plastic insert here, by the way, that uh, allows you to change for different refills. It comes with the Fisher Space Pen. Um, that plastic insert has a little screw-in bolt on it. Um, I asked uh, Tough Rider customer support. They told me that could go either way. Um, I assume metal on metal, plastic on plastic, so I have it facing with the bolt facing upwards, but that's a... Uh, 
they said it can go either way. The weight on this is a little bit heavier than these, um, but not so much that I find it cumbersome to write with. I uh, actually really like it, um, but it is slightly heavier. And uh, it's got a really nice weight, really nice feel to it. Really kind of appealing to write with just because of the smooth surfaces there. And uh, so I, I like that one. All right, now onwards to some less available uh, pens, although the Grimsmo is definitely not easily findable. Um, this Zirconium Tybalt is pretty hard to find. Um, there's like a pentagram version online right now, um, but on the Monkey Frag website. But if you want just a regular old Zerk Tybalt, they're kind of hard to find. Titanium clip, um, I think the screws are titanium. In fact, I'm pretty sure he boasts about that, that it's uh, all titanium construction on the tie bolts, except for obviously the zirconium version. Um, came with a titanium bolt here. Um, I replaced that from a guy named Nils, N-I-L-S underscore K-O-H-R-I-N-G, um, a uh, tritium bolt here made out of zirconium. Um, this one is, don't quote me on it, but it feels a little bit heavier than the Tough Rider, so it's the second heaviest out of the whole lineup here. Um, action is absolutely so smooth, including with the Nils Coring um, aftermarket bolt here. I don't feel like that changed it at all, to be honest, which is just, it's so smooth. It feels absolutely tactile when it clicks into place both ways. But if you smooth roll it, oh, it's just, it's like butter. Um, these things are potentially, with the zirconium version, a little bit too heavy for me. Um, for like a, like if I had to write out a long report. Um, but for short writing sessions or just for like everyday uh, signing things, whatever, um, absolutely awesome. Uh, I'd like to pick up a titanium version someday, but that would kind of be breaking my trend here. Although, again, the Grimsmo already did that, so um, I feel like the titanium might be a slightly better weight on these for me, but zirconium is great. And, again, my favorite metal. So, um, last up, this is a, I'm going to pronounce this horribly, I'm sure, Sergey Rajevitz, um, S-E-R-G-E-Y. Um, Rajevitz, uh, his website is Extreme Addiction. Um, this is the V2 bolt pen. Uh, zirconium, titanium. This is steel. Um, really, really nice. Uh, nicely machined. Again, very, very, very smooth. Um, they all are. Uh, the one, only one with the disappointing action is no longer manufactured. Um, and still, like, I loved this thing for years and then got upgrades. Um, really, really smooth action on it. Uh, heavy as shit. <laughs> he offers these in brass, um, I think primarily. He does uh, do Timascus and Mokutai. And he's a custom manufacturer, so basically if you email him and ask him, he'll probably do it. He was apprehensive to do an all Zerk one, but uh, said if you're willing to pay X amount of dollars, and I'm not going to quote you on that just because it might change, um, but if you're willing to pay X amount of dollars, yeah, I'll do it. And I said, okay, well, here's the money. And he uh, kind of seemed almost surprised. I was like, all right, well, it'll be out to you in a few weeks. And he got it to me. So um, again, a little too heavy for me, but if I'm just, if I know I'm not going to be writing any anything major, if I'm just going to the doctor's office to sign some paperwork or whatever. Um, I love it. Uh, it's heavy, it's beefy, but it is really, 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 really nicely made. Um, the spinner is maybe, maybe leaves a little bit to be desired there. Um, however, I, I dunked in some isopropyl and uh, it spun for quite a bit longer, which leads me to believe that I just need to tear this thing apart and clean it out really, really well. Um, those little tiny um, ball bearings 
um, can be pretty sensitive. So, and there's not much weight on there, so I don't expect it to spin forever, but longer than a couple of seconds would be nice. Um, not that that was even the main contributing factor in getting this pen. I would have gotten a version one that didn't have the spinner as well. He just was offering the V2s at the time. So, um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of quote-unquote tactical EDC options. I have another Grimsmo Saga on the way. Um, and then I'm probably going to send John a rod of zirconium and just hope that he doesn't laugh at my face and throw it out <laughs> so that he'll make me a zirconium um, saga because I really love this pen, but I want it to be a little heavier and made out of my favorite shit. So uh, there you have it, guys. Um, some really, 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 really solid options all around. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of these. These were about 200 um, back in the day. In fact, they were 200. Um, these are 250, and these are readily available pretty much all the time. He seems to keep a consistent stock of zirconium. Uh, previously, it would be every few months there would be a few dropped, but I don't know if the popularity and demand has gone down or if he's just keeping more in stock because um, they're pretty much always available from what I can tell. Tie bolts, again, kind of hard to find. Grimsmo, you have to go to their website, sign up for a um, maker's choice, so they'll anodize it however they want. I was lucky enough to get one that wasn't anodized, once again, so I anodized that. There's a video on my profile um, of that process, uh, although since then I've changed the clip to green. Um, again, I have another one from Maker's Choice. This one I bought secondhand. Secondhand, they run anywhere from, if you get really lucky, $350 to maybe $500. Um, there's some variance there. Uh, the guy that I got it from was a nice dude. Um, gave it to me for the lower end of that threshold. Um, and I have one coming direct from the Grimsmos once again. So this is number 46. They're in like the 340 range now. Um, so I'm eager to see the differences between the builds. Um, I might do a comparison if anybody's interested. This was 250. Um, I don't know how available they are. Again, they were a Kickstarter exclusive until very, very, very recently, and the only metal that they dropped so far is zirconium. Um, I'm sure they'll continue to add to that with titanium and whatnot, but right now there's only zirconium available. And then Sergey, um, I don't. From what I've heard and from what I understand, he he does knives and pens and axes and canes and he does them in a circulation, so whenever he gets back to making pens again, he'll, I'm sure, let you know if you reach out to him, like, hey, I'm not going to be making more pens for another six months, but when I do, sure, I'll add you to the books. Or, yeah, I'm making pens this week. Um, so it might be a wait, but it seems like they're available if you want them. And, yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.